Hey, good morning guys. This is Pierre from CanSpiderAccessories.com and today is the 23rd of May. It's Wednesday and uh, it's a little early. My voice is still broken up. Uh, I'm going to have my breakfast here. So my, my toast and peanut butter like I usually have in the morning. I'm going to have myself a coffee. Then I'm going to go outside and I'm going to give you uh, some pointers. If you're going on a road trip and you need to trailer your Can-Am Spider somewhere, I'm going to show you how we tie it down. So I'm going to line my things up, I'm going to get my pickup, I'm getting my open uh, trailer, I'm going to get the Can-Am Spider, I'm going to get things ready, and we'll get this going. Here we go. All right, so what you just saw there wasn't really pretty. I'm not in good shape. Let me catch my breath and keep going. Well, the first step to loading a can of spider in a trailer or anything is, and don't forget, please, guys, this is my humble opinion. This is based on the experiences I've had uh, trailing a can of spider somewhere. So the first thing I do is I make myself a stopper, whether it's the big trailer in the back there or it's the opened up trail like this. I always like to have, you know, a piece of wood or something for the front tires. So what I've used, what you can see these, these used to be yellow, but <laughs> on each side there, they're actually like the, the, the quarter moon, the quarter, uh, um, rounded plastic things that you can use for a big um, uh, like a motor van or a thing like that when you want to stop somewhere and you don't want it to move so I just got a pair of those I got a, a piece of wood that I ran right across here and I just gave myself enough clearance for the you know the Can-Am spider will clear over the top of it but won't reach the end here so when I'm about like three inches away from that uh, piece of steel here. So when I'm gonna load the, tri the, the spider, I know that when I get on top of these, this is where I need to stop. The spider is now loaded on the trailer. Now you need to find the right balance, right? So when you're towing something, you don't want too much weight on the tongue, but you do want some weight. You don't want it to swivel back and forth. So uh, I've tried and tested the best way to put the Can-Am spider. Now it is centered for me. It is centered for the length of the trailer, for the width of the trailer, and for the weight. So that's something that we work with. Is there a special recipe for this? Not sure I can communicate exactly how to, you know, load a trailer. There are probably some videos out there that are more expertise than me in that way in distributing the weight. That's the, the part that I'm referring to. So if I can find something, I'll put it in link in this video or maybe in the description. I'll show you. I'll try to find something on YouTube where they talk about distributing the weight of something when you put it in your trailer and you want to tow something. At this point, we're ready to tie down our Can-Am Spider. You're going to need four of these little ratchet uh, straps. Probably buy these anywhere from, you know, Costco, Walmart, uh, uh, you know, Home Depot, Lowe's. So you can find these pretty much anywhere. Uh, anywhere. We're going to need four of them. You say, hey, you got three tires, three wheels. But yes, you will need four of them. When tying down the Can-Am Spider, everything we're going to do is that a crisscross. It's going to be a cross, so when it pulls this way, it's just going to make everything tighter. Nothing's going to come loose. It's the same principle as when you, you put a, a trailer on your Can-Am Spider on a car, when you have those chains that you can put at the end, the security chains, in case something happens to the trailer hitch, you crisscross so it binds if it pulls away. And that's going to be the same thing here. We're going to bind the spider down, so we're going to use the cross uh, situation the cross uh, the, uh, the cross uh, position <laughs> we're just gonna crisscross everything the first strap that we're gonna put we're gonna actually gonna use this section right here okay I'm trying to get my fingers in there so you can see that I see a lot of people that try to tie down with the tires I don't recommend it I, you're gonna do something bad to the alignment and you're gonna pull on it and I, I just don't think it's a the proper place to go so this is the way I use these okay so we're just gonna push it around it 
and then we're going to take the strap and we're going to push it inside so this is what you're looking to get right here just like that we're going to do the same thing on the outside and we're going to bring those two straps right down the middle right here you want to pass your straps underneath your Can-Am Spider. we're going to get that crisscross action so if you're taking uh, let's say we're on, looking from the front now so if you're, we're looking at the right hand side you want to take the right to, to the left and the left to the right get that going guys Now that we have the ratchets on, we're going to start uh, tightening things up on both sides, left, right, doesn't matter which one you start with. Just make sure that when you get a little bit tight, you go back and forth just to make sure that you keep everything straight. For the front tires, I said don't use the front tires to bind your Canem Spider. For the rear tire though, we are going to use it. We're going to be pulling it left and right at the same time. So we're going to have an equal pressure on each side. But we're just trying to stop it from bouncing around. So you don't want to make this too tight. We're just going to put a little bit of pressure so it doesn't go left and right as you're going down the roads and you're hitting bumps. It's going to uh, stay dead straight. We're using the same technique for the rear tires we did for the front. Remember where I said that you pass through uh, the hole with a strap here? Let me show you guys. Okay, I'm going to show, show you. Here we go. See this part here? This is what I'm talking about. So we're pulling towards this side here. And we did the same thing on the other side. Now make sure that you go underneath the sprocket here. Don't You don't want to go through here. All right? But you definitely want to go underneath here. And like I said, we're not looking to put this really, really tight, okay? We're just going to stop the bike from uh, bouncing around. Now, the only thing left for me to do is to, uh, you know, all the, the loose uh, strapping. I'm going to make that uh, tie it all up if you want. Or I'm going to wrap it around the ratchet to make sure it doesn't open. So any of that loose end that you have, just wrap it around your ratchet. Make a couple of knots so it doesn't go in the wind and doesn't cause any damage, doesn't go in the wheels or anything else. So that's what's left for me to be done. Uh, sometimes if I go on long road trips, I may take a, a piece of 2 by 4 and I'll put it at the back of the rear tire and I'll screw it down just to give it an added, you know, make it more tight and make sure it doesn't bounce around. Um, this trailer, I really like the wood is very rustic, very rough, so the tires grip. If you have, if you're putting this in a trailer that's enclosed, like the one I have there, my my floors are painted, so uh, it's more slippery. So I definitely do put a, a two by four at the end and screw it into the wood to make sure the bike doesn't go back and forth. So that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, like I said, that's left to me to do is just get all that loose strapping there, uh, to close the tailgate, and just go on my road trip. I hope this helps. Uh, remember guys, this comes from a writer's point of view. I'm no expert. I'm just sharing all the, uh, you know, the, the experience that I've had and the information that I get from different writers. And that's what I'm presenting. So it's very humble and no pretension to anything that we do here at the Spider Shop. So once again, thank you very much. You can follow us on YouTube. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. It really helps us out and share the video. Share with your friends, share on Facebook pages, on clubs and things like that. And uh, where can you get out? accessories and everything else that we make we've got like 250 accessories you can find those on here we go canamspideraccessories.com my name is pierre be safe on the roads guys bye